Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how you change logs to exponents and how you change exponents to logs. Now an exponent equation is usually given like this. f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. What we have is a base and a power. Now in order to make this a log, we have y is equal to 2 to the power of x. There's two ways you can do it. In our previous financial videos, you had learned how to add log to both sides. So you end up with log y is equal to log 2 to the power of x. If I bring my x forward, I would end up with x log 2. Divide by log 2. What you do on one side, you do on the other side. So I have x is equal to log y over log 2. Now another way of doing it is, if you have y is equal to 2 to the power of x, when you're writing a log, the base in your exponent remains the base in your log. And what we are doing is we are swapping x and y. So it now becomes y is equal to x. So I've swapped these two around. So when we're changing an exponent to a log, you can do it two ways. Either you can do it this way or you can do it this way. Now another way that I like to remember it is you basically go log, your base is always the base and then you are going anti-clockwise. So my y becomes there and my x becomes the subject of the formula. Now in order to do it either way, whether you use your financial method or whether you simply learn this method of keeping the base and then changing it, you need to know how to convert exponentials to logs. But you also need to know how to convert logs to exponents. If I give you the following equation, it is easier to go from logs to exponents because my base remains my base and I'm going anti-clockwise so it's 2 to the power of y is equal to x. If I wanted it to be logs, then again I know log, my base is my base, and I'm swapping x and y. Whereas in my y was attached to the base, now I have my x attached to my base. Thank you for watching.